It is 7 o'clock p.m. Serbian time and I just got picked up right at the border. In fact, I was approaching uh, to show my passport and I see this guy. <laughs> uh, his name is Dominic. Dominic, hi. Uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> so he's from Poland. He had Polish uh, license plates and I was like, you know, let me give it a shot, you know, just ask him. Maybe he's going through Budapest. And uh, I, I asked him, can I can I be in front of you, like, with the passport, you know, with the passport control, because there are quite a few cars, uh, you know, in front of him and behind him. So, and he said, okay, no problem. So I went and I checked in my passport. In, in other words, um, I, I had a stamp from Serbia kind of checking out out of the country. So... And, and then I asked him, like, are you going to Budapest? And he says, yeah, uh, yeah, through Budapest. And where are you going again? Well, that's just Slovakia Slo to Zvolen. It's Slovakia. It's kind of a small, small city in the Slovakia country. You know? After that, maybe I will stay to meet my friend. And after that, I will drink something, you know, some Slovakian beer. All right. Of course, when you will be in the Slovakia, you have to taste the Slovakian beer. Really? And also in Prague. What it's, makes it what makes it so special? Uh, for example, in, in Czech Republic, you have to ch check the Bud Budweiser, not Budva, but Budweiser. It's some uh, beer like from American Budweiser. Czech Budjelovice. No, it's, it's not the American Budweiser. No, 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 it's not the American Budweiser. Yeah. It's totally I'm not different. A, yeah, I'm but not the a best beer. one in the Czech Republic. I think. Yeah, I'm not a beer drinker, but I will give it a try. I'll trust your uh, judgment. And uh, so, all right, so we're about a hundred eighty-five kilometers or something. What do you think? To Dominic. Budapest? To Budapest. Yeah, yeah. It's around 100. You're going through the center, right? Like right Yeah, there. no problem. All no right, problem. fantastic. Go, go, go. I'm so lucky. Lucky bastard I am. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually I was actually like uh, kind of doubting the fact that I will be there by 10, but it seems like I can actually make it by 10 to see Adam. Adam is my couch surfing host. Uh, you know what couch surfing is? No. I'll tell you all about it. You oh, will yeah. be amazed by this community. Anyways, guys, uh I'll see you when I'm talking to Adam, I guess, or, you know, maybe I'll see some really amazing architecture. And also, I'm just recalling uh, something. Uh, I was told that by the German guys, uh, guy, Alex, that in, um, in Hungary, the roads are really, really smooth. They're really good. Have you ever driven through them? Yeah, it's They're better, right? True. They're better than Serbia. Better than Serbia, yeah. yeah. And this is, you see... Uh, this is all passports, European, European, European <laughs> Union citizens. Oh, I might need to come out of the, from the car and go to where all passports are, right? What do you think? This is the border control and everything, and uh, that's pretty much uh, where uh, we're checking into Hungary. I'll see you guys later. Take a look at this cathedral, guys. This is insane. This is just unheard of. Look how beautiful it is. It's all gothic and everything, and there's a car inside. What, what is the car doing there? It's a Mercedes, Mercedes or something. Uh, yeah. Isn't it? Is that a, a, like an auto show or something? New Cell S. Huh? Interesting. So, this is Dominic um, since the last time no we. Time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, he decided to come into the center to. Uh, to go for a beer. I just contacted Adam, my couch surfing host. He sounded very serious with this voice, like, uh, uh. so, uh, and I completely forgot how he looks like, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to go into this bar. He was in the bar, and we're expecting an SMS from him uh, for the address uh, of the bar, so we can just head out there, you know, just punch in the GPS. And It's almost 10 o'clock. Um, Dominic was really kind. He drove me right into the city. And uh, we had a little trouble with his GPS. It didn't work properly. Apparently, there are, in every district, there is the same name of the street in uh, Budapest. And guess what? <laughs> we, we were, like, just saying goodbyes. And next thing you know, there is Anthony. Anthony Hopkins walking the streets of Budapest <laughs> with his dog, Boo Boo. Where is Boo Boo? Uh, Boo Boo, Boo Boo, where are you? So, you see that? That's a very quiet dog. But when he sees other dogs, he starts selling, saying hello to them. Anyways, we're heading out to the hello bar. Hello fuck off. <laughs> what? <laughs> hello means fuck off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, in the dog language. Yes. Right. So, we're heading out to the... What was that street name? Kira Utsa. Kira Utsa. King Street. Utsa, Utsa is uh, uh, the street. And that's actually translation King Street. That's where the kings hang out. Apparently, Adam is a king. And he's my couch surfing host. We're gonna go and meet him there and look at the beautiful, beautiful Budapest. I am yet to explore the city, but I'm already falling in love little by little. 
The architecture is amazing and it's ancient. It's amazingly ancient. Tell me, tell us about yourself. What uh, what are you into? What do you do in life? I don't know. <laughs> you I'm haven't now, decided yet. I'm now a copywriter. You're a copywriter. I... Let's not kill our dog. No, okay. No, no. This is Surgeon Renat. And this and is Adam Sabo. Hello. And this is Adam, my couch surfing host. I didn't introduce you. Uh, uh, Adam yesterday night because it was kind of uh, really late uh, I arrived yesterday around 9 p.m. and uh, with uh, Dominic we were looking for the place uh, for like an hour or so and we found the bar eventually uh, what's what's tricky about Budapest is that uh, it's uh, divided into sectors the whole city and in uh, some sectors you can see the same is exactly street name and even sometimes uh, street name and the number of the address matching so the GPS got screwed up and everything he's got an old GPS but regardless today is October 8 2010 it's about 9 15 uh, we're heading out I have to be uh, uh, getting up really early and heading out uh, out of the house and then coming back together with uh, Adam because that's the rules of the house and uh, we are living on the Buddha side so it's like something related to Buddhism or Buddha and there are pests, you know, pesticides on the other side. Look at this house. Look at this house. Let's take a look at this house. Can you see this house? I can't, but you probably can. Okay. And yes, that's enough because people will think that we're snooping on them or something. <laughs> or yeah, trying yeah, to discover. Crazy. This is the des Dezo Dezo Utka. Utka in Utsa. Russian Utsa. Utsa. But Utka in Russian is actually a dock. I am on the Elizabeth Bridge, bridge which is uh, connecting uh, Buddha side, which is on that side where uh, Adam is living. And this is Pest. Pest is pretty much the center. I don't know why they split the whole thing is like Buddha and Pest. I have no clue. I'm gonna try to find out about it and update you guys on that. Look at this beautiful vista. It's uh, they have quite a few bridges. I think it's like eight or nine bridges eight or nine active bridges there are boats and all that this particular scene reminds me a lot of West Virginia uh, when I was there in the winter of 2009 and look at this big ass boat it's called U Ukraina which is Ukraine and it's got like a, a pool and everything right on it can you see that it's amazing anyway so okay there is another guy on a scooter, as you can see, with the head in the sky. Can you see that? His head in the sky. Okay, so let's head out this way. What do we see? All these buildings, a pigeon not to run over. Let's take a look. I'll give you some uh, special tour because uh, it looks like this city is really beautiful and very... Okay, apparently the bus stop on the way back, there is a hill, really, really steep hill that I had to roll on my bike. And uh, apparently, uh, what is it called? Going, going from Adam's house into Pest, it's really easy because you just roll down by bike. But on the way back, I would have to take a bus. Bus 8 or 112, apparently. You don't need to know that, but I, you know, just giving you information that I was told also as a reminder for myself not to forget. This is Statue of Liberty that's holding some water jar. And uh, she apparently also sells fish. If you can see right in the center. And there is a Medusa as well. And this is probably an old church, one of the oldest churches out there. And uh, also, I saw quite a few uh, synagogues as we were walking through the city. Look at all this beautiful stuff. This is just amazing if you ask me. Do you want to ask me? You can. And I just told you. There is restaurants, Carpatia. Oh, haha, -ha, Carpatia. That's like uh, Ukraine. 
some relations to Ukraine here, huh? Girls standing here. So one of the streets up here. I don't know how long. Oh, I've been rolling for five minutes now. Let's see. I'm just going wherever it leads me. The the, the beautiful sights. And. Uh, About 10 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock. Maybe I'll just point the camera this way so you can see the building and me. <laughs> the beautiful me. You can't miss both. You gotta catch both in the same frame. At the frame, the truth is frame is here. I cannot start filming as of yet because people are still in a sleeping state of mind. Look at this. See that? It's beautiful, right? Hello. Hello. Okay, so I have to run, run to the side. Look at this. That's just beautiful. Look at that. Do you see this? This is like a bike city tour. Some people killing each other or going for mercy. Let of mercy. So I, I'm not sure. So, uh... Another thing that I uh, learned is that the word police yeah. has its own name in Hungary, which is like, you know, in some places it's like Polizia or Police or Polizai or whatever, but here it's like something like something, yeah, I don't know, they invented their own word for police. Back like there. Wow, look at that power over there. So, and uh, I'll show you, I'll show you like when there's a police or something. I'll show you how it's spelled, it's so weird. It's like the, the Spanish invented their own uh, term for computer. They couldn't just call it computer. <laughs> uh, I was told about that, so. But pretty much the same situation with uh, Hungarians. And also the Polish guy says, the Dominic, the, the guy who drove me here, he says that, uh, you know, it's a Slovak language, but, you know, even as a Polish person, he, he wouldn't understand what in the world they're talking about when they start talking. So it's like a completely different language from all the Slovak uh, nations. So this is, yeah, this is the police car. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Look at the, the name of the police. Rendorseg. Let me just zoom in on this. I hope I don't get busted by filming police. Oh, you can see there's a pole. Just hang on one second. Take a look at this, guys. What in the world is this? Rendorseg. I have no clue what they were thinking. Couldn't they just call it police? I don't know. 